Yo, what up, ladies and gentlemen? I say ladies and gentlemen because I know a lot of ladies are going to be watching this video. Um, trying to get some information for their husbands. Uh, I know my wife looked it up before I did. But this video today is going to be about my experience with my vasectomy. And um, where I went, how much it cost. Uh, the time of year I went, because I think that kind of makes a difference if you're paying cash. Um, the price, the scheduling, how that went, and um, the the before and after, of course, the effects of it. I know everybody want to know the big question uh, of what it does to the situation down there, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to answer that question. This is I'm almost a year in. Uh, March will be a year in for me. Um, and I waited this long to do the video so I could have some time to really be able to tell y'all. Because when I went to look on YouTube for some people telling, you know, with information about they vasectomy, I mean, it was just, it wasn't no regular people on there. I'm a regular person. So I'm in my work truck, in my work shirt. Um, I'm just a regular guy. So, you know. You're going to get it straight up for me. You know, it's just my experience. You know, you can take from it whatever you want. But um, starting out, you know, I did pay cash. I did not have insurance. My job doesn't offer insurance. I didn't have insurance. So I was looking for a good deal. I actually didn't, actually didn't have to go far. I didn't have to look too far or look too long. Um... So around March Madness, a lot of these urology places, they know guys usually have procedures during that time of year so they can take off and watch college basketball. So they run deals for vasectomies. I didn't know that. I just so happened to be looking around that time, and I'm not a big college basketball fan anyway, but um, this one place had this deal called Vast Madness, like Vass as in vasectomy. Like March Madness, they call it Vast Madness. Uh, it's actually, I don't know if I'm able to say it or not, but it's the urology team. They're not paying me nothing. It's the urology team of Austin. Uh, I'm down here in Central Texas in the Austin area. so. But yeah, the urology team of Austin and the price that I actually paid for my vasectomy out of my pocket, straight up was $595. I don't know where y'all at in different parts of the country, but I, I was expecting to pay over a thousand, close to 2000. And when I seen that it was 600 bucks, basically, I, I had to jump on that. So uh, as far as scheduling, they kind of schedule you out. You got to go through a consultation. Um, and they, you know, make sure that this is the right decision for you, all that good stuff, you know, explain the whole process. So you don't just get scheduled for the vasectomy right away. They, they give you a consultation. Um, so I went through that. And strangely, my wife was, she, I don't know if she had to sign off to for me to get it, but I don't know. It's kind of something up with that. Like they needed my wife's signature and she had to be there. So... You might want to look into that. I don't know if it's different states do it differently, but, you know, I think it, it has to be, your wife has to be, your spouse has to be involved. If you're married, you can't just go sneak off and get a vasectomy. Like, if you're married, you got to, your wife has to be involved. So, that's a tidbit of information for y'all right there. I don't know if that's helpful or not, but um, I had, um, they gave me a pill. I don't know. Other places could give you a shot, something like that. They gave me a pill. The guy came in. He was like, hey, man, I'm, you know, do you want some type of sedation? Or you want to be up for it? You know, I'm, I'm going to numb the area. But, you know, it's up to you if you want you know, a little extra help. So he gave me some type of pill. I think it was basically like an antidepressant of some sort. Um, honestly, I, I, something like that. I don't know. But that pill took me out the game, Jack. So he gave me the pill. He left out. I don't even know how long before he came back in. But basically, when I woke up, I was done. 
<laughs> I was done. And, and what he did is, so you got two, you got two um, tubes, shall I say, where your sperm uh, goes into the, the liquid. The liquid that we shoot out is different than the actual sperm. So that's the big question. Does it still come out? Yes, the liquid still does come out. The liquid is just a carrier for the for the sperm. You know, that that the semen is just you know, a carrier for your sperm. So basically those two tubes that travel that shoot the, the actual sperms, the millions of sperms into the liquid to shoot out, that's what's that's what gets cut off. And um some guys burn them. I have mine kind of clamped, so both of mine are clamped. I can kind of touch down there and feel the clamps. Uh, but a year in, it's no sensitivity. kind of feels weird if you touch it, you know, those clamps. But, I mean, touching your leg, you know, it's no sensitivity or nothing like that this far in. But uh, uh, what else, what else, what else, what else did I have for you? You know, afterwards, I... Uh, so I had the surgery on a Thursday. I took off the rest of that Thursday, that Friday. I went to I went back to work that next Monday. Now, I don't drive trucks, but I drive a, a work vehicle, and I do multiple stops a day, not to get into my profession, but, um, you know, I'm in and out of this truck all day, and... That was kind of tough, sitting on my boys like that. Maybe if you got a different type of job, it would be different. I think, you know, it is just kind of different for everybody, depending on what you do, what kind of job you have. Um, honestly, if I could have took, if I was knowing what I know now, you know, I don't have any have any vacation time or anything like that to take at my job, but I still would have just took off and just not got paid. I would have took off at least a week. Uh, my dad has had a vasectomy before, you know, he took off six weeks. So, you know, it kind of just depends, man. I would at least start with a week. If you're going to do this, start with a week, man. Cause you can, it's going to be sensitive down there. Um, you know, it's not the worst thing in the world. It's not the worst pain in the world. You know, every situation is different, but man, it, it, it's going to put you out the game for just a little bit, man. But it can be done. Like I said, I was back at work Monday. I didn't take any more days off. I've been working ever since then. So, you know, it can be done. It's just if you got the time, take it. You know, take you at least a week off. Um, let your boys chill. Let your boys chill out, man. Ice them boys down for the first couple of days. And, um, you know, don't be too – Don't. I was trying to help my wife out with stuff. Just chill, man. Those first two days, chill. Chill, chill, chill. Don't let nobody, your wife, and kids, nobody, don't make them let you do nothing. Just chill, man. Get you, figure out what movies you want to catch up on, your favorite show, binge watch. Get in that bed, just chill out, man. I tried to do that, but I really couldn't. We got, me and my wife and I got seven kids. So, you know, I'm trying to help her out with stuff, but really you need to be able to just chill. Uh, what else I got for y'all? Uh, as far as, you know, the performance afterwards, man, you know, I was back in the game maybe a week. No, not a week. Uh, they say give it 14 days. Um, uh, so I think I gave it just about 14 days before I got back in the game. Uh, but you know, it just kind of depends on you, man. You know, you know, start easy. Don't, don't. Don't go too crazy starting back out. Um, but, yeah, you know, two weeks, you should be able to get back into the game. It was kind of weird at first, the feeling. You know, it didn't hurt or anything like that. You know, but I guess it's a kind of mental thing, too. You're thinking about, man, is this going to feel different? When you're thinking about it, you can you can kind of make it become wh whatever you're thinking. So, you know, kill that noise in your head, man, and just let the situation play out. Once you got it done, you stuck with it anyway. You stuck with the results. So, just ride it out, man, and, and you know, don't let your mind take control of you. But, um, yeah, man, you know, 
I was, you know, a month or two later, I think I was pretty much back to normal and everything feels the same, man. You know, I still shoot, still shoot out. <laughs> That's the biggest question a lot of guys have is, hey, does it shoot still? Yeah, you're still full force shooting out, man. It still feels the same. Um and that's what I was looking for in these videos, man. Nobody would say it. Nobody would really say it and just be raw with it. But yeah, I'm I'm letting y'all know, man. You know, for me, I felt the same. You know, it, it felt I was worried. Like, dang, man, I don't want to be different. You know, I don't want my sensitivity to be gone or, or nothing like that or, or to not be able to shoot. And, you know, some for some of us, that kind of makes us feel like a man being able to shoot. And, uh, but nah, man. It, you'll be good. You'll be good. So, yeah, I was trying to make a short video. This video is going past 11 minutes, man. Uh, but I definitely want to be informative. Any questions, y'all can shoot it in the comments, man. Leave that negativity alone. This is my first video. So I don't, I don't, I'm not a YouTuber or nothing like that. I don't want you to subscribe or none of that crazy stuff. I'm not trying to get rich on YouTube. I'm just a regular guy trying to help out people, trying to make a video that, you know, I was looking for before I got my vasectomy. So, you know, everyone, like I say, every, every situation is going to be different. I don't know what it's going to be like for somebody who got insurance because I don't have insurance. So, you know, this would be, you know, more informative for the guys that don't have insurance. You know, I don't know. Take from it what you want, man. You know, it's just... It's just me giving my spiel about what I went through and, and how my situation rocked out. But yeah, man, if you got questions, shoot it to me, man. I'm 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 regular Joe, man. I I answer them straight up raw, whatever you want to know. Um, appreciate it. Appreciate y'all checking me out, man. And whatever I didn't cover that you want to know, just let me know.